Hello, hello, how you doing? Adrian here with bestformyfeet.com. Welcome to this video in which I want to share with you my experience with uh, using 6% hydrogen peroxide in order to get rid of athlete's foot fungus. In a previous video, I talked about using 3% hydrogen peroxide as a home remedy against uh, athlete's foot fungus. And I tried that, it didn't work for me. I'll leave your link in the description or up here to that video if you wanna check it out but it didn't work for me. So I said, maybe this uh, solution is not strong enough. That's why I decided to buy the 6% hydrogen peroxide and test it to see if it works better. All right, so let's get started. And this is the hydrogen peroxide I've used to um, try to get rid of the athlete's foot. Uh, I wanted also to put it in a spray because I've heard it's great for sanitizing different parts of the house, maybe the kitchen counter, the desk, the table, the fridge. Uh, and all that good stuff. But let me stop you right there, right now. As you can see, I'm handling the hydrogen peroxide without gloves, which was perfectly fine when I used the 3% uh, hydrogen peroxide. But this one is a stronger solution. This actually is used by many people to bleach their hair, even bleach uh, clothes. So I need you to use gloves if you don't want this to happen to you. So as soon as the hydrogen peroxide came in contact with my skin, with the healthy skin from my hands, right? It became white as you can see here and I could not get rid of it. Uh, don't panic, it's uh, kind of normal. This is one of the reactions that you'll see. Just wash your hands straight you know for a few minutes with uh, lukewarm water and some soap it's not gonna go away straight away uh, but at least your hands are gonna be clean of clear of uh, hydrogen peroxide the skin should go back to normal the next day uh, that was my experience anyway if you see that it doesn't improve uh, it's best to check with your doctor and by the way check with your doctor actually before uh, using uh, hydrogen peroxide on your skin they know you better so they can advise you better if it's safe for you or not. Excellent. Now, with that out of the way, let's uh, do another safety check. And before I actually pour 6% uh, hydrogen peroxide and cover my toes, I wanted to check uh, if there are any reactions. So I just sprayed a little bit over my feet. And I'm going to wait for a few moments. Again, looking for uh, my feet getting white, for any rashes of the skin or any itchiness or... Uh, things like that. Seven or eight minutes have passed and I haven't seen anything strange, uh, any reactions or anything. So I decided to pour hydrogen peroxide over my feet to the point where I'm covering my toes completely. And that's basically it for the first day. Uh, now I'm gonna relax for about 20, 30 minutes with my feet inside the uh, solution while I'm talking to my wife here on the balcony and having a coffee. Excellent. When I've used the 3% hydrogen peroxide uh, to do foot baths, I've done the whole week, I soaked my feet into this solution, the 3% hydrogen peroxide. And that's because I saw quite a lot of bubbles and I thought that's indicating that the product is working. In this case, I didn't see that many bubbles and uh, someone even mentioned in one in the previous video that it's better to actually spray the uh, solution then soaking your feet into into the hydrogen peroxide apparently it's more effective so that's what i did for the rest of this uh, test i stopped soaking my feet uh, in the uh, solution and for the uh, next five days i've actually sprayed the uh, six percent hydrogen peroxide on my feet on the bottom in between my toes and I think it's a little bit more effective, at least I see more bubbles. Ah! 
So was the 6% hydrogen peroxide more effective than the 3% hydrogen peroxide against Atlin's food? Unfortunately, no. I mean, uh, I still have the uh, fungus. I still uh, have itchiness every now and then, like sometimes I scratch myself until I bleed. But um, none of them worked, at least not for me. Just as I mentioned on the previous video, uh, I think that this product is going to be great if you want to sanitize your feet. And since I've started using uh, hydrogen peroxide to clean my feet, I've realized that my feet stopped stinking. Now, I'm in my boots 10-12 hours a day, my feet sweat, my boots get wet. And at least uh, if it didn't stop, if it didn't kill the Atlas foot fungus, well, at least my feet don't stink anymore, which is something. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments below if you've used this product for this purpose and if it worked for you or not. Since I still have the Atlas foot fungus, moving forward, I guess the next solutions I'm going to try are going to be some creams that uh, podiatrists uh, recommend and see if that works better than this uh, hydrogen peroxide. I hope this video was helpful in any way. Please share with me your opinions in the comments below. I'm Adrian from bestformyfeet.com. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.